Okay, welcome to Northern Ants. This is a new game called Boss Beak. Beekeeping Simulator. Very early access, but it's a beekeeping game. I've played Those of you that know me, I've been a beekeeper since 1994. And I still do bee and wasp removals in the summer for my income. Been wanting a beekeeping game for ever. One that actually has beehives that look. That I've got bee simulator, but that's you're playing as a bee in kind of a fakey looking environment. Want something that looks like an actual bee and beehive. Okay, first step. I've played quite a few times trying to f familiarize myself with the game. It's not very easy yet. The controls are a little bit hard to, to deal with. But keep on trying. There was a swarm. If you see this bee up here, so we can get over there. Whoa. Yeah, see the controls when you hold your right click and you push away, it's backwards. Here's a, a swarm. Let's capture the swarm. That'll send an AI beekeeper over here to collect that swarm. See that guy with the box right there. He's sent going over to get the swarm. There's another swarm over here on the side of the building. We'll catch that one too. Swarms only. Uh, loiter until they find an appropriate location with enough space and shelter. Growing population. While they may be here today, there's no certainty they will be there in an hour. While they loiter, Dozens of workers search the area for a primary location. Prime location. One, a few spots have found. The workers will form what? They're going to be looking for this location. So, what we got to do? We got to get some. Want to get a, a couple more hives set up. One of our main things that we have right now is getting hive set up. They hit click the new hive down there and set them where we want the beekeepers to put them. Okay, and now they are adding the components for the hive into our inventory. Got our storage here. What you have to do is click on I didn't want to do both bees, but click on each of these items. And then what you have to do is click on the baseboard. This is the thing that took me a bit to figure out. Now, oh wait, what happened to the... There was a feeder. Okay, let's add bottom board, feeder, a box. Some frames, a queen, and you can't put the worker until you get more boxes. But first we're going to do our second hive because we want to get both set up. We could possibly leave one of these hives empty so that the swarm moves in. But Okay, let's click on the next hive. Do the same thing. For some reason, my other feeder, I had two of them, is gone. Okay, there we go. Now, oh, wait a minute. There it is. How did it? No, oh, never mind. Okay. Now, I'm still not real good at yet, so let's see. This hive, I'm thinking this means that it needs an inspection. So let's inspect. Someone has already noticed the problem. Okay, so there's... Let's try this one. A 
Okay, another beekeeper is already heading to this hive. You may prevent this in the future by s setting the quarantine option, the yellow icon above each hive. The quarantine in the hive allows you to more control the overgrowth, swarms, and production. Be sure to quarantine hives that are a great distance from pallet wagons as some beekeepers walk very slow, reducing their productivity. <laughs> Each one of these that has the... I think this means that it's... Now see... See, these don't have bees in them yet. Another beekeeper... Okay, well, I just did that. Yeah, see, they keep telling me that I don't want to know that anymore. I've already know what I'm doing there. Okay, what we need to do now is click on this hive because we got to get another... Oh, we need a queen in that hive, don't we? Whoa. Yeah, see, that that's one thing that, that controls are pretty bad. The swarm. I want to try to gather that. Yes, it's a swarm. Capture it. Hive 12 produce a large amount of honey. Well, that's good. Now, these. Oh, cool. It's doing a. Going up with the ladder. Let's watch them gather that swarm. Unfortunately, they don't have the swarm actually looking like a swarm. Looks like, unless it's considered a swarm trap, maybe that's what they're calling that. Oh, good. Okay. Now, are they moving? Where is he putting the? Okay, he just put those there. Now, let's click on the hive. Upgrade. We need some more boxes. Let's get two more deep boxes. And frames. Two sets of frames. Okay, now it should be in the storage. Let's grab both boxes because we need some more for the workers then. Okay, now we can move the box, the frames, and the bee is in there. Do that same thing with this hive. The hives seem to be doing pretty good. Now, the stats on them, let's see what it says. It's got information. There's 500 honey, 520 pollen, nectar, eggs, and larvae. This one's got a lot of nectar and some larvae. Oh, probably because I didn't have any supers on it. So it's got a lot of nectar in it. Let's see how's the nectar in this one. Yes, there's a lot of nectar in there too. How about let's add a super to this? I'm not sure how to get rid of this. I want to close this. Is that what this is? Oh, that gives you all the hives. This thing is in the way. Maybe if I turn it. Okay, there, yeah, that's better. Okay, let's upgrade hardware, bulk. Let's do medium supers. And some medium frames. I think that's what those are. I think we can do, oh, that's, well, let's try it. We 
we're gonna need more bees too. Okay, we can move this. Yeah, we need more bees then too. Yeah, gotta put the boxes first. And we can buy some more bees too. Um, let's see. We gotta close this. Can we get him to go do something else? Let's. How about hiring? Let's see if we can hire somebody. Swarm capture. Okay. I'm not sure if later on as the game gets it looks like she's disciplining them but I thought I was hiring them new assignment accepted okay Barbara's complete okay um, what do you mean no bees I placed orders for bees weeks ago now we have to lose business because some f bee farmer didn't treat his bees with mites, might bees his bees for mites, and lost all his livestock. What are we to do now? You think we might be able to restock our apiary with fer feral bees? Does anyone have any ever known how a bee line? How can we possibly catch? that many swarms. Perhaps a previous owner was so, as bad as, as bee management as he was financial at finances. Hillside, catch every bee you can find. We'll have to make our profit from scratch this year. Perform an over oversee or oversee two swarm captures swarms can be found in trees under porches and anywhere dry secure locations can be found it's best to retrieve swarms as soon as possible as they are known to relocate okay let's uh we have already we have already caught two swarms there's a swarm there. Oh, good. So there. Oh, he's supposed to oversee it. Okay, swarms. Yeah. He's already re retrieving it. Okay. We got uh, awesome work. These queens are local to the area and should thrive in a familiar environment. The variety aggressive level of the swarm can vary depending on the genetics makeup. Capture as many swarms is a sure way to maximize genetic diversity in your apiary. I'm also given giving you a personal pricing priced queen they take extra care, but the honey they produce is top notch and should fetch hefty price. Be sure not to put her too close to other hives or fighting is likely. I thought I saw another swarm over here but I guess I didn't there's a lot of different areas that we can set hives funny thing I've tried playing this game quite a few times already since I bought it which if you're interested it's on Steam right now for for like $2.99 so it's, it's an excellent price and I'm actually understanding it a lot better right now as I'm doing this video 
than I did the first quite a few times that I tried playing it. So hopefully this video will help you kind of uh, familiarize yourself with some of these points that you need to make with with the hive at this game. Okay, let's see. Now, do we have some more bees because of... Yes, we do. Okay, oh, good. Okay, this is those different kind of bees that they were talking about. Now, let's add bees to here. Wait a minute, why is it not? It should let me. Huh. Oh, I didn't. There's no no box there or what? That's confusing me. Cuz usually it lets me put put a hive there or bees on that. Try it again. Nope. Okay. Um, upgrade. Hardware. Bulk. Come on. Let me do this. Insight. What's that? Oh, this one. I think this one needs an inspection. What supplies? Oh, this is feeders. Hardware. Let's do bulk. I want to get... See, I, I'm not a fan of that. That thing keeps coming over here and getting in my way when I try to look at the... the components. See, it's like right over the top of it. There's got to be a way to, to get that off of there. Yeah, see, it's blocking it automatically. Can we close something? No, what were they looking at here? So they've got a box here. Let's take that box off and buy ourselves a feeder for this hive. Oh, we could sell some honey here. That'll get us some money. Why will so not not letting me click on it for some reason? Here we go. Um, this hive has got its bees, but I need to get myself a feeder for it. It's in good health. It's got. Oh, let's. Instead of taking stuff from it, let's order some more frames we should be able to add some more bees to this then yet yeah, not <laughs> now if we add a third box let's try that Let's see if this works. Now if I add this box here. Oh, it's not going to let me. So it's got to be... that kind of box 
we got the frames. So let's try this. Try this box. Okay, it's letting me do that. And add those frames. Now will let me add these bees. It will not. Maybe one more frame? Oh, not what I wanted to do. But, yeah, let's set up a new hive. <laughs> Might as well. Seeing it's gonna make us. Upgrade. Okay, we'll grab a feeder. Got two. One. Two. Three. Yes, yeah, see, this is not letting me see what I need to do. Or if there's a different angle that I can make. Finally, it's like it's letting me do it now. Let's do a bottom board because we're going to need that for that other hive. Plus frames. Let's get as much as we can. Oh, that that hive they said to make sure it's set away from the others so that it's they don't fight. Let's put it Let's put it over there, and we're going to put the other kind of bees in that one. Okay, so we need a bottom board, a feeder, two things of frames, and our queen. Okay, let's uh, bottom board, feeder, queen, whoop, we got to box this first. Okay, now that's that different kind of bee. Let's send somebody to inspect it. I'm just gonna grab everything so that I can just put it all in here if I want to. Now let's see, if we put two sets of frames, will it let us put the bees? Still won't. Huh. Well, it's, they've got nectar in them. Let's go check around, oh, here, this, this one is got some problems. Oh, see, this one's got a bee in it. This one, I think that's one that needs a new feeder. Oh, here, this is that hive stand that I haven't put anything in yet. not sure what their problem is. Can we add more boxes to it, maybe? Oh, we're going to need a bottom board. And some more frames. Okay, let's uh, get off of. Let's get on this one here. It's not letting me interact with it for some reason. I'm just curious what this uh, that orange what this is all about. 
Why is it say or why is it orange? Is it because they're getting ready to swarm? Orange range. Supplies. Oh yeah, this one. Let's grab a couple feeders because we're gonna need them for. For that other hive too. Let's just grab all that. We'll just carry everything with us. Cause I'm just curious what this what's wrong with this hive. Okay, they got a feeder now. Let's try giving them another Yeah, it won't let us. Okay. Let's send another inspector over there and s find out if we can see what's going on with it. Oh, there we go, finally. Solid bottom board, that's the kind I always use. I don't use the, personally. I never really cared much for the screen bottom boards. Yeah, see, it's still not letting me set up the next and we'll send somebody over there to kind of give them a look and this new hive too let's go see if we can find some swarms how far out can we s zoom See, there's a, a wagon there too, so we could move, have hives closer to that. Not sure exactly how big this map is. Pretty decent sized. I haven't really been paying attention to like what my income is so far and stuff. There's an area over here that's got some stuff for pollinization. I'm not sure exactly what the those numbers mean. It takes some getting used to, but once you do it, it starts getting better. Yeah, this this hive here, I'm not really sure what the whole issue is with it. This, uh, let's see if it says, uh, it's a Carnolian, size unknown, drones, 14%, might load is low, that's good. Insight, new hive, that might mean that it's getting ready to swarm, maybe? How about let's move it once? never tried this before we'll move it over here by this other cart if it would let me there we go see if somebody will move it Now, I don't know if we can control these guys or what. New hive game. What's that? Oh, I didn't even know. Pick up and drop. Now what 
does the insight button do? It didn't seem to open anything new up. Got raw honey, refined honey, packaged. Cell, basic honey production. This turns off different, uh, well, there's the map. Uh, production equipment. Pressurized honey stats. Apple orchard property zones. Okay, select a property zone to modify it. How do we do that? Vermin traps, bear traps. Heh. It's all stuff we'll gradually learn as we go along. It's just this hive here seems to be the, the big problem. What's a new hive? Someone has already noticed the problem. Okay. Yeah, we've seen that before. Has everybody gone home for the day or what? Because it seems like everybody's. There's nobody around. We can turn off all these indicators, it looks like. Let's see what the map says about the orchard then. If I clicked on it. Hmm. Okay, it looks like he's moving. Moving something. Oh, he's moved. Is he moving that whole hive? Let's take a. He is. Okay. Now he's going to set it up there. Okay. We'll see if that helps with its production. Maybe, it, maybe that's what that orange is. That's It's aggressive to other hives or something. This hive here is fairly small. It's Oh, there's really nothing in it either. There's no queen or no workers or anything. Okay, so I need a feeder. tried a short super yet. Okay, let's grab all this stuff out of our supply storage area. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay, we got our feeder. not gonna let us do another bee there. Let's see how's this one? Oh this one's not doing it good either. So okay yeah we're obviously not gonna have any bees move into that if there's no nowhere for them to move into. We need a, another feeder. Let's grab two. They seem to be running out of them all the time. And let's buy some bees. I haven't really been buying many bees lately. Which I'm thinking that seeing it was 
stock problem. Let's grab some feral. Oh. Okay, well. I've been buying super. So that's. Okay, that's my fault. I think I've been buying the. I've been putting regular super honey frames into the hives. So. See, these look like they would be blank frames, so they're good for, I would think they'd be good for honey and bees. We'll do one of them here. Maybe that's why I wasn't able to put bees in that box here. Try it now, see if we can put these. Nope, still no. I'm thinking maybe we don't have to put anything there until they get to a certain point. Let's send somebody to inspect each of these. And we should be able to do something more with this hive. Okay, there we did. Now we're able to put in there. So this hive should be a lot better. Let's see. Now we'll be able to get another super. Grab two more supers like that. And another two sets of frames. Should be good. This way we can get this hive all the way upgraded. And then we could probably get one of those hive top feeders too. Let's take a look at that. Supply. Hive top seeder. Have not had one of those yet. So, let's see. Okay, we got that. Oh, it's still not letting me. This, this box I could, let's take these both out. put this here. Now we might be able to put this here. Yes, okay. Not really sure what this one is. What is this? If we can get it completely. Now what's the harvest button? Did, oh, oh shoot, did I just harvest everything? I don't think I wanted to do that. Okay, let's see, what do we need? We need some more frames is what it looks like. Is that this kind of frame? Does it look the same though? Brood, pack 
package queen. So I guess we'll grab that and see if that's what we can throw in there. Okay, now we should be able to put this hive top feeder on here too. I guess not. We'll let it go for a little while and see what it does. Can I click, double click? No. And once you put this in here, it doesn't look like can you tran you can't transfer it back over to the to the inventory. Not sure why every one of these says blue. What does blue mean? Good, low. It's got a lot of nectar. Pollen. I'm thinking that they're harvesting everything. We could add some more to this. Okay, good. Now let's see if we can get some more bees into this one too. Okay, that's good. What was that other hive that we... Well, things are starting to get back to blue. Let's check out... This hive looks like it needs an inspection. him there. Oh, okay. So I was able to do the inspection on that by double clicking and bring him over. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? It looks like I've got two hives here. Yeah, I can see there's there's two, two hive numbers there. Got quite a bit of raw honey going on here. We do have this other hive over here. Not seeing any swarms. We can get down a little bit closer too. Some bees flying in and out of here, but not much. Let's see how are they doing? They're in good condition. Not much nectar though. A little bit better in there. Survivability 100%. Oh, okay, so it looks like they they split the hive. And now this one's got... Huh. See now I've got two fifteens. Oh, so I was turning the hive. I was putting another box on there, but it disappeared on me. Okay, so two high 15s now. Let's see how is this hive doing. Could use some more frames, it looks like, but can't put those in there. But Okay, well, I think we're going to let off right there. This game is pretty cool. If you're 
you know, if you like beekeeping, if you are a beekeeper, if you're not a beekeeper and you want to kind of see what it is to be a beekeeper, this kind of gives you a little bit of an idea and you don't have to worry about getting stung. <laughs> so, okay, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about the game. For $2.99, it's, you can't really go wrong. Give it a try. It's on Steam. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos, so check out the playlists and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day.